Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I taught two of my horses to rear. So, the concept that I think about while teaching this is putting the horse in a forward movement and then trying to transfer that energy into an upward movement. In these first clips, I'm going to be working with my three-year-old miniature horse, Nemo. He has never done any of this before. He's never been taught to rear. This was the first day that I actually worked on it with him. So it kind of gives you guys an idea of what it might look like the first time that you try this with your own horse. Before I started training this, I had already taught both of my horses to do the basics of liberty. They both already knew how to follow me and to come to me, and that made it just a lot easier for them to understand what I wanted when I would run backwards and ask them to come towards me. So all I'm doing here is I'm running backwards with a lot of energy and I try to build up that momentum and then when I feel the horse has a lot of momentum coming towards me, I'm going to try to transfer all that energy that I built up into an upwards movement. And then I'm just going to make sure that I'm rewarding every small attempt that the horse is making to try and do what I'm asking. This is really important because if you don't reward the really small steps, you'll never be able to build up to an actual rear. Keep in mind though that teaching your horse to rear can be extremely dangerous if you don't know how to handle the consequences of it. Some horses may become a little bit aggressive when they do it, some just might decide that they want to do it all the time. So those are things that you need to make sure that you're watching for and that you're working to stop. So Nemo did get a little bit of an aggression issue, which was nothing that I didn't expect since he was young and had just been gelded. So that was something that I had to work on with him. Hey. And sometimes that's going to mean uh, take a step back from trying to teach them to rear higher and higher and better and just focus on that behavior that you want to eliminate. You need to really make sure that you do this or else it can really get out of control, especially with a bigger horse like my other horse that I'm going to show you in this video, Jake. This is Jake. He's a 12-year-old Percheron Cross, and this was the first day that I'd started training him to rear. I had already taught him to follow me, and he had already gotten pretty playful with that, so it was pretty easy to teach him to rear. It only really took one day. Since all horses are different, you can see with him I'm not doing quite as much of the running backwards. I really am just bringing him towards me and then throwing that energy back because for him, that was enough. Once he really understood the rearing cue, he started to really enjoy it, probably a little bit too much, so he started to do it all the time, like you're going to see in this next clip. So right now, all I was doing is I was just asking him to follow me and walk towards me without rearing or doing anything, and I'm not going to give him the satisfaction of asking for that rearing cue until he is paying attention and he is walking towards me calmly without trying to rear without having been asked to. Since the rear was something that he really enjoyed, I would use it as a reward. So I would only ask him to rear when he was behaving and he was following me and he was being calm and not offering the behavior by himself. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting a lot more tutorials. So stay tuned.